Hey folks, NixOS number 51. Uh, I'm gonna uh, show you a cool little project I found on GitHub by a guy named Peter Jones. It's called Plasma Manager. And what it does is it lets you, it has a script in it that sort of scrapes your running configuration, your running KDE Plasma configuration, and makes a .nix file, uh, well, a .nix formatted file out of it, just spits the standard out. And then you can add that to your configuration. And when you run NixOS Rebuild, um, it will apply whatever configuration is in there to your, uh, to the, th this requires home manager, by the way, this is, it's implemented as home manager, home manager module. Uh, it will apply your KDE configuration settings to all the KDE related config files in your dot config directory all the settings in those files get put into this one nix file that you can just check in so it's, it's pretty neat so uh, right off the rip i just want to let you know this one I, I say this at the beginning of most every video i say that you don't have to watch the video uh i think this one you probably do because it's just awful hard to demonstrate what, what's happening otherwise um but you can go to the in the video there will be a link to the to the script that i'm using the, the gray thing over here and you can sort of uh you know this file has links in it to plasma manager and all that other stuff so you can get a sense of where everything is uh the particular configuration i present here assumes that you're using nixos not just plain nix you're using a flake to configure nixos and you're using home manager as a nixos module if any of the above is untrue you're going to need to, you know, adapt. Uh, the the scraper bit that I was mentioning before uh, is most easily run by using this nix run command. And I'm just going to copy it here and we'll run it. Let's see, where's my terminal? There it is. Uh, and when we run this, what it, what it will do is it will spit the standard out a a nix attribute set that has all my kde configuration in so i'll do that now and you can see that it is lots of stuff <laughs> it's dmi too, too much stuff in there but it does you know it gets us going so uh it's fine um there is a bug uh currently I don't know if it's in Dolphin or if it's in Plasma Manager. I think it might be in Dolphin. That Plasma Manager, this this next run thing here will puke uh, with with an error that looks kind of like this. If there's in my Dolphin RC, there was like a a key and a, a key value pair that was outside of any section in the in the config file, and uh, just can't can't cope with that. So what I did is I just went in and deleted that line from my my dolphin RC and then it worked fine. So, but since I did that, it did not error out. Um, now one thing about this, what I just did is that what it doesn't, what, what Peter Jones's, uh, um, plasma manager doesn't do is it doesn't currently capture theming or appearance choices like your wallpaper or the theme you're using or anything like that. And for purposes of the video, uh, that wouldn't be very interesting, would it? <laughs> so I made a trivial fork uh, that includes an additional config file that he doesn't include in the um, in the original, and it enables the another setting in there. So yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm going to use my own to uh, capture the. KDE settings, uh, and this is how I do it. I use Nix run, blah, 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 my own. And that gets us some more, some more stuff. Now, unfortunately, whether you run Peter, Peter's or mine, uh, the, the stuff that gets generated will have, uh, let's see, it'll have hard-coded paths in it like this you know 
And this this is not this is not going to work over time. Uh, but luckily, we can we can change them. Uh, we just have to go in and and uh, use uh, Nix expressions inside of here rather than these hard coded paths. Yeah, so it would be I, it, it would be better if if a plasma manager handled this for us by sort of looking for things in the values of these keys that started with you know slash nix slash store or file colon slash 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 nix not so you know so, and converted that stuff to to the actual nix store path that should be expected for these things but it, ju it just doesn't do that right now so we have to do it ourselves so i've done that over here by going in and let's see what do we got this is in my home manager configuration so in my home manager configuration i let's see i just import the file that you know i i, I spat that stuff out to a file and called plasma.nix and I checked it into my configuration directory here but I had to change it uh, because well first of all I wanted it, it was pointing my, my original configuration was pointing at, at wallpaper images that uh, were not controlled by home manager so I put them under home manager control here you know, by, by using this built-ins path thing and then I uh, the, the original thing that gets spit out doesn't import the plasma manager module. I didn't want to import it above. I just, since I, since I had to change this file anyway to add the wallpaper, I might as well put it in here. And then I had to put these expressions in here for, for wallpaper, replacing the, the, the hard coded pass to, to this stuff. So I'll, sh I'll show you the, the diff that's probably easier to understand um let's see users yeah so if i do diff plasma before plasma mix we can see that um we can see that i had to you know i added this this stuff up top and then uh there's some other stuff in here that's just in incidental but um rather than you know that that hard coded path i i have an expression that resolves to this to the wallpaper thing that i that i have oops that's not even right that's actually oh yeah no sorry um right yeah yeah it's this one yeah so rather than this I replaced it with this so anyway just had to be done so I'm going to demonstrate the um, upstream you know, the, the upshot of this by using a nifty feature of NixOS called NixOS rebuild build VM which will take this configuration I have and it'll make a brand new virtual machine and we'll see that it applies most not all of my KDE configuration uh, that I, you know, it applies to stuff I scraped, but I, there's other stuff that, that is currently not being scraped. Like it is just mind bendingly uh, frustrating that I can't find where, <laughs> where the actual wallpaper is at. <laughs> uh, and I don't think it actually uh, honors like whether, whether the panel, you know, like right now I have the panel hidden down here. I don't think that that setting is scraped currently. So probably eventually I figure that out, but it's, it's mostly, it's mostly right. So let's do that. Now I'm going to have to speed this up because of this, this build VM thing is pretty slow. Okay. The VM is booted and I guess it does. Well, I know it's booted, but it's still, still thinking about things. So you can see that the wallpaper it has um, is not my the the wallpaper I actually use is is it looks like this. Oh, well, you get the idea. It's not the same wallpaper, but uh, let's see. 
if I go to the wallpaper and desktop settings, the wallpaper I want is is in there. So I can just choose it. That's it's frustrating that I can't find the, the actual file that contains that. But yeah. And on my in my uh real environment here, not on the VM, my my panel is actually hidden. Things, you know, like that. Uh, that that doesn't seem to carry along, but man, it's close. It's real close. All my all my applications are there, and then you know, down at the bottom. In any case, this is a cool little project. I hope this helps somebody. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, yeah, just put them in. All right, thanks.